anyone that's left finance will be tell you it to, wanting to leave was not a hard decision <laughs> they get um, a dick saying in particular if you know yeah um so exactly so, so uh my story was i wanted to start uh a podcast because i was just addicted to the learning experience of like walking all these places and i know this is so obvious to people now but like walking places in like 2013 and like learning more in my walk to class than in the class itself yeah and uh also inspired by the four hour work week my uh then girlfriend now wife at the time uh we moved to uh asia we spent uh half a year traveling around asia just out of, go? basically a backpack uh thailand vietnam Jealous. taiwan uh singapore a couple other places that's that awesome escaping my living brain. my dream yeah <laughs> um and on the walk back from a grocery store in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and it wasn't particularly profound, but struck me like a bolt of lightning that, and this, just to give you a, a, a time context here, yeah. this is like 2016-ish, maybe, it was tw early 2017, and this was like in the midst of Gary Vaynerchuk's meteoric rise. I fall in the camp of thinking that Gary Vee is in many ways an innovator, uh, a really impressive entrepreneur and a heck of a marketer. I know those people don't like him. I I've think heard that name. I don't really know who he is. <laughs> a lot of entrepreneurs, particularly like the yeah. marketer types and the like, very online types, yeah. are checkmark cosign him, and then Alex Hormozzi is kind of the heir to okay. the like entrepreneur of digital business, online business, online media that like calls it straight, isn't you know hoodwinking his audience and selling them BS. I mean that's um, important. I think in any sales, and there's a lot of position. there's a lot of charlatans, a lot of gurus out there yep. that I do not co-sign. And maybe you know, give me a little more cognac, and I'll, I'll start listing <laughs> that one for you. Um, Happy but, to share the cognac. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the um, during that point in time, I'm coming back from the grocery store in Chiang Mai, Thailand, with our you know our groceries for the next couple of days or whatever, and it hits me like a bolt of lightning because I'm watching him produce these vlogs from inside his marketing agency, Vayner Media. That's probably at, like two, three, four hundred people. And I'm like, there are gonna be a lot of companies that want to produce videos like this uh, and won't know how to do it. That's interesting. 